Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. You can now open the elevator using that bright, red, and obvious button. Let's get to work. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Bellora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh, it looks like Bellora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job! In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. Motion trigger, Circus Gallery vent. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed, otherwise you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow.
Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All of that and more happening now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? What does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat! Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time! Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self-reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. For male, press 1. For female, press 2. For text only, press 3. For other options, press 4. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing Angsty Teen. Elevator stopped. You know the routine. You can get out now or whatever. Stay here if you want. So, funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so not that funny, but it's a story. Okay, let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. Great. 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 There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default settings have been restored. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's auditorium. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Circus Baby had a busy day today. Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Oh Circus Baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. 
Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart. Motion trigger, entryway vent. Funtime Auditorium Maintenance Vent Opened Ballora Gallery Maintenance Vent Opened I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. Willingly. Maybe curiosity? Maybe ignorance? There is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest.
It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and Safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death or dismemberment. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in blueprint mode. Give it a try and do some shopping.
Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day and you can go get some coffee. Great job! It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be.
Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely, death. Should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place.
I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. <laughs> I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. <laughs> I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. <laughs> I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story.